Folk tales from the African Nova Scotian community are coming out of the history books and onto the TV screen. A new series is just wrapping up production in Halifax. I stopped by earlier this week. To get it to stop, you, you gotta clap three times. A new four-part series about African Nova Scotian history is in the making. This is on set of Studio Black. Bill McGilvery is the writer and producer of Studio Black. He says the idea came from true stories told by African Nova Scotians that were gathered almost 100 years ago. The stories, the, the basic story elements, were collected in the 1920s by an American who came up to Nova Scotia and went to all the black communities, the rural black communities. And he interviewed a whole bunch of people um, and got stories from them. CBC License now will come to life with the help of a CBC License and a Eastlink production fund. Peter Sutherland is a camera operator at CBC. He was assigned to the program and found something pretty cool about Studio Black. A lot, not a lot of people of color in the industry and this is refreshing to have the whole uh, cast and, and director and a lot of the back, uh, background help. Uh, uh, <clears throat> being part of it, it, it and, and it is Studio Black. The entire cast, directors, and most of the crew are African Nova Scotian. Nathan Simmons is one of the actors. It, it shows that uh, Black History Month will be more than just a thing what history would be about all about everything, black culture, even the old folktale story that they used to say. Today, the crew is shooting an episode where Nathan plays a boy named Sonny. Him and his mother are poor, so Sonny decides he will get up and search for a way to provide. That's when he meets the man stuck in a mountain. McGilvery says this production is an unusual package, and he's excited for people to tune in and be entertained. It's funny. Yeah, I mean, the, the stories are funny, the actors are great, so there's a lot of really good laughs in it. The production of Studio Black wraps up on Tuesday and will be a regional special on CBC this summer. If enough people like the show around the region, it will be played nationally. I'll be watching. It seems like a cool way for a story to be told. Yeah, definitely.